Hi everyone, in this video, we're gonna show you how to create uh, closed captions for your Canvas Studio Media. Uh, so we'll look at how to generate closed captions within Canvas Studio, as well as how to um, upload a file that you may have created uh, yourself. So we're here on our Canvas Studio dashboard. Um, you can do this from within your Canvas Studio library here, or even from just the video that's been embedded onto the page. The process is the same. Um, for this, well, I'm going to go into this video down here and I'm just going to open it up. And you'll recognize these boxes. You would have seen them, you know, in the previous video where we added in comments. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to go to the captions tab. So we'll select that and we have two options. Uh, we have the captions request uh, or we can upload. Uh, so first let's start with the captions request. So in this way, what we're going to do is generate automatically uh, generated uh, captions. We'll select the drop down box here and we'll select what language is spoken. So that's what language has been spoken in the video. Uh, in this case, we'll select English because that's what was spoken in the video and we'll select request. Uh, you can see as well, it says it's about 85% accurate. So um, once this has been created, you may want to go in and have an edit and we'll have a look at that. Um, but this might take a few minutes. So let's let that run in the background and we'll come back in a second when that's done. Okay, so here we are. The uh, video has finished processing the captions um, and you can see there, it now says review and publish. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click into that and we're gonna first review those closed captions. So we'll click that open. And you can see here, these are the closed captions that it's generated automatically. So it's pretty good. It, it adds in punctuation, um, capitalizes letters, um, and, and takes us all the way down to the end. And you can see that we have, each section has been timestamped as well. So we can even, if we needed to, we can click on that and it will take us to that section in the video. So what you're want, gonna wanna do is start this, go to the start of the video, uh, just run through it and just make sure that the captions are correct. So I can press play here. And you'll see at four seconds we'll Hi start. Hi everybody and welcome to this video on creating media in Canvas Studio. So Canvas you Studio see, is a powerful media. You'll tool. see that tracks along as you're, as you're going. Uh, now, if you need to make an edit in there, uh, all you need to do is click into these fields um, and you can Add, con add text into there or delete, etc. So pretty standard um, way of editing the, the, the content there. Now, once you are happy with those captions, once they're correct um, and everything's been edited and reviewed, um, all we need to do is press publish. So we'll select publish and you'll see now we have those English captions have been published. We select these three dots. We can go back into those and edit them again if we want to make any further changes. Uh, we can even download them if we would like to share them um, or we can replace them with new ones if we need to do that uh, or we can just delete. Now you can actually have multiple um, different closed caption options. So we can have these English generated ones um, but we can also um, generate some other ones or upload new ones as well as a different option. So to look at the uploading section, um, if we've perhaps we've created some closed captions prior to this, or perhaps you've engaged an external service to create closed captions for you, um, that's certainly possible. They, they will give you a file to, to upload to here. Uh, so what you can do is you can go to here, go to show more, um, and you can select either the language that you want created. So perhaps you've gotten someone to translate it to another language um, and then you've, they've created, say, like French or Japanese closed captions. Um, or perhaps you've just got other English ones that you want to create. You can also go into custom here and just upload a custom set as well. So let's, in this case, let's just select custom and I'll say um, English 2 as an example. I'll press submit. And now, now I just need to select the file where my captions are. So you're gonna to want to have an SRT or a VTT file. So these are transcription files. Um, 
Again, if you're engaging a service, they can create one like this for you. Otherwise, you can also look on the internet as well for, um, for sites that help you uh, transfer one file into this SRT or .vtt um, file type. Uh, in this case, I've already got one created though. So I'm just going to select the one that I want to use, press open, and you'll see that has just loaded that up in there now. So I've got my first sort of English ones that was um, created automatically. And then I have my English two, which was one that I had created previously. Um, and now we can go to, we have this option here in our video to toggle captions on. Um, and we can toggle those off and that will, and you can see here, if we go to our settings, we can go to captions, select that, and we can select either to turn our captions off um, or select which one of the file types we want. In this case, I'll leave it on English. And when we play this video, it allows staff and students to upload, create, edit, share, and if you'll see those closed captions appear there on top of the video.